now, as you can see, in our stiletto heels, and we're going to do pole dancing. And the reason we've got the stiletto heels on is, first of all, it looks great. It makes our legs look hot. The second reason is it's a great balance challenge. We need to be sure and walk on the ball of our foot because if we step on the, the heel or the side, it'll slide out from under us. We also are going to strengthen our ankles using these shoes. So this is a great um, balance and ankle strengthener. Um, so, so start with everybody stand on the left side of your pole, facing forward. Pretend like there's a clock around the pole. Where I want you to stand is where the nine is on the clock. So we're all at nine o'clock. We're going to hold the pole about shoulder to ear height. We're going to try and be about six to eight inches from the base. If you get too close to the base, you'll knock your knees into the pole. You'll rub your forearm and get pole burn on the, from the pole. So a little ways away from the pole. Go ahead and put your left hand on your hip, and we're going to learn the walk. You start with your right foot. Right foot goes in front of the pole where the 12 is. Left foot goes on the right side where the 3 is to the clock. Right foot goes behind at the 6. And left foot goes back to 9 o'clock. And that's your four-step walk around the pole. Let's do it again. Right foot 12. Left foot 3. Right foot 6. And left foot 9. And if you can really focus on the 12, 3, 6, 9, that'll help you get the choreography. Um, 12 is right in front, 3 is right on the side, 6 is behind, 9 is right here. And it'll make, us, make it easier for you to get the choreography. Let's add some sexy to our walk. You're going to kind of bend your knees, let your hips kind of move side to side. Right foot's going to go behind, barely drag that toe, and you're going to drag your right toe to 12. Drag your left toe to 3, right toe to 6, and left toe to 9. We're back at our 9 o'clock. Let's do it again. Right toe drags 12, left toe drags 3, Right toe drags six, and left toe drags nine. The other sexy walk is pony walk. Drag your toe up your leg, set it down really gently at 12, facing that direction, good. Left toe up to three, right toe to six, and left toe to nine. And you guys look great, you guys are all right on, looking very nice. Let's do um, pony walk again, just a little bit faster. So drag your toe 12, and three, and six, and nine. Awesome. And then I we want to do it to the beat of the music. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it to the beat. Starting with our right foot, we're we'll walking. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Five, six, seven, walk right. And left and right. Twelve at nine. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, go. Twelve and three and six. Do our 12, 3, 6, 9 walk, and then we're going to pivot and face the pole. Hook our right leg on the pole. Ankle, shin, and knee. So switch legs with your right leg. Good. Ankle, shin, and knee. Come up onto your tippy toes and pivot towards the, the front. And we're going to stick our booty out. Left hand on our leg. We're going to forward fold. Touch that leg. Back up. Stand up tall. Shoulder back. Hand on your hip. Good. Unhook your leg. And let's do our walk again. Ready? And walk 12, and 3, and 6, and 9. Pivot towards your pole, right leg hooks, ankle, shin, and knee. On your tippy toes, bring your foot a little closer to the pole. Perfect. On your tippy toes, pivot forward, forward fold, touch your leg down, and up, shoulder back, hand on your hip, good. Unhook, one more time and walk. 12, three, six, and nine, face your pole, hook. On your toes, face the mirror, fold. Back up, shoulder back, good, unhook. Nice, we're adding on. We're going to walk right foot 12, left foot 3, face the back corner. And we're, so keep your right foot at 12 and your left foot at 3, so you're facing the back corner. And we're going to do hip dips here. So we're facing this way, both hands on the pole, do a little squat back, hips come up right, squat back, hips left. Do a couple of these. Squat and squat. Good. Keep your knees pointed point this way, towards me, so pivot your toes here this way, and then towards me, towards me. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Good, you're good. Yep. Squat, go up. Squat, go up. Good, nice. Beautiful. Good. And then we're going to do a body roll. So for your body roll, come way away from the pole, sit back. Chest goes towards the pole, booty goes out. Roll in chest, abs, hips, shoulders, lead you back, and then sit back down. Good, booty out, chest in, keep those knees back, roll in chest, abs, hips, shoulders, lead you back, and sit. Good, keep going, roll in. Shoulders back and sit. This is the this is the warm up for the um, pole dance class. <laughs> One more. Good, nice. And then why don't you keep your knees back? Stick that booty 
our head goes towards the pole first, the better it'll look. Yeah, exactly. So booty back. If you think you're licking up, imagine lifting, licking up the pole, that'll help you stick your booty out. So do it again, sit way back. Booty out, lick your pole, keep that booty out all the way up. Nice, good. So we'll do one body roll. We, it'll get eight counts, four counts you're gonna sit back, four counts you're gonna pinch it. So let's try that. So we're gonna sit back, put it back, two, three, four. Roll in, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna face to the left, and we're gonna step our right foot to six, just like normal, and our left foot to nine, mm -hmm. and we'll be back at nine o'clock. Let's do it again. Let's do it from the top, and I'll do it here so, so you can see what I'm doing. So from the top, nine o'clock, walk 12, three, six, nine. Go, 12, and three, and six, and nine. At nine, face your pole, right leg hooks. Pivot forward, uh, fold, touch your leg, back up. Shoulder back, hand on your hip. You guys are great on this side. Leg hooks, two steps. Walk 12, three, face your pole, hip hips. Go down and right, and left, and right, and left. And body roll, we're gonna sit back for four counts. Roll in for four counts. And then we're gonna walk six and nine. And we're back and up. Woo! That's why I can't move the pole at all times. Okay, now we're gonna do this to the beat of the music. So we just learned a little bit of the choreography. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, walk, twelve. And three. And six. Hold at nine. Face your pole hook. Face the forward fold. Shoulder back. Unhook and walk. Face your pole, hip dips, go right, and left, and right, and left, and body roll, sit back, two, three, four, in, six, seven, eight, and walk, six, and hold it, nine, good, let's do it again, let's be back here, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, from the top, three, six, and nine, face your pole, hook, face the mirror, fold, hip, back up, unhook, and walk, go, face your pole, hip, go right, and left, and right, and left, and body roll. One, two, three, four, five, and walk. Let's do it one more time. Ready? In five, six, seven, go. Twelve. Good. Face your pole, hook. Face the rear, pole. Shoulder back. Good. Unhook and walk. Face your pole, hips. Go right, and left, and right, and left, and body roll. One, two, three. The next thing we're going to do is a spin, and our spin is called inside planted foot. So standing at 9 o'clock, we're going to plant our inside foot at 12 o'clock, just like we do when we're walking, and our outside foot, the left leg, is going to go all the way around the pole and land at 9 o'clock. So feet back to 9. Hand position, right hand high. The higher the better, but to protect your shoulder joint, pull your shoulder down and back, just like we did in the pull-ups. You're engaging that shoulder so you're not hanging from it. Left hand is low by your belly button. In this spin, left hand's job is to push you away from the pole so you don't bump your hip into the pole and so that you help that right arm. So left arm is gonna take a little bit of the weight from the right arm. So if you're not just hanging, left arm's helping. So right hand high, shoulder engaged, left hand low pushing. Right foot steps to 12 and watch me first. I'm gonna do a big swing away from the pole in a circle. I land at nine, I push with my bottom hand to get my right foot up and I'm at nine o'clock. So watch again, big swing, land at nine and push. Ready? So everybody's right foot's at 12. Big swing with the left leg, land at 9, and push. Ooh, awesome. Let's do it again. 9 o'clock, right hand high, shoulder engaged, left hand no pushing. Step right to 6, or to 12, sorry, big circle, land at 9, and push. Awesome. Let's add the walk. 12, 3, 6, 9. Ready? In 5, 6, 7, go. 12, and 3, right hand high, left hand low, step, big circle, land at 9, and push. Beautiful, good, nice. Um, do you guys want to get airborne? Do you want to get airborne? Let's try. Sure. Okay, come behind your pole. Right hand is high, left hand is low. You're going to stick your left leg out. Inch your right hand higher, wave on your tippy toes, grab really high, and you're going to pull your shoulder down and back and push with your bottom hand to transfer your weight without a hop. So you're reaching, pull, pulling and pushing, good. Get your left hand by your belly button, so use that, that um, arm into your tummy to help support your weight. Wipe the pole with a towel if you need to. Good, reach high, good. Left hand low, pull your shoulder down and push. And transfer, good. And it's okay if you slide, so that, that is great. It's totally fine to slide, okay? I just want you to engage that shoulder. And then somebody throw a little set of towel in your hand. Let's do it again. Left forearm by your belly button. Push your spine. Oh, right hand high. Ready to see it again? Somebody throw her towel, please. 
making it fun. Good, good. Left leg out. Reach that right hand higher way up on your tippy toes. Grab. Ready? Pull your shoulder down and push with the bottom hand. Perfect. Good. Wiping the pole is all you guys needed. We're going to add that to the spin, and this is what it's going to look like. Now when you step in circle, pull your shoulder down and push, and you'll do a little float. Perfect. Nine o'clock. Let's try it. Right hand high, left hand low. Step right. Left leg circles. Pull your shoulder down and push, and just do a little float. No hopping. Just, just pulling and pushing. If you're too close to the pole, push more with that left hand. If your right arm is wrapping around the pole, loosen your death grip so it doesn't wrap. It should come all the way around with right, you. Right, right, right. Back. Let's walk into it. Nine o'clock. Ready? And walk. Go. Twelve and three. Right hand high. Left hand low. Step right. Big circle. Pull push. Beautiful. Nice. Let's do it one more time and then we're going to do the advanced version. Ready? Woo! And walk. Twelve and three. Right high. Left low. Step. Big circle. Pull push. Beautiful. If your hand was higher, it would have been easier. That would have been really easy. Okay, the next spin is called chair spin. We're going to go around the pole like we're sitting in a chair. And so to do that, watch me first. We're still stepping 12. We're still circling our left leg. We're going to pull our knees up in front of us. We're going to land on our feet. So we're doing our spin with our feet directly under us so that if you slide down too fast, you're going to land on your feet. Once we land, we're going to do booty up from the floor. So let's try it at 9 o'clock. Right hand high, left hand low. Right foot steps. Left leg circles. Pull your knees up on the side of the pole. Nice, land on your feet. And then booty up. Holding. Good, nice. That's okay. Now my hands won't. Yeah, so you can start a little bit lower though, so you can go a little bit down into it. Knees up. Nice, good, land, booty up. Good. So just loosen that up. Okay. You just have really a strong hand in addition to the booty. Nine o'clock. Right hand high, left hand low. Step right. Big circle, put those knees up. Nice, good, good. Slam it, booty up. Good. Just try to get your hips on the side. Because if you slam it and pull this way, that will be more painful than if you slam it this way. Let's walk into the chair spin. Nine o'clock. Ready? And walk twelve. Three. Right hand high at six. Left hand low at nine. Step right. Big circle. Knees up. Whoops. Whoops. That's okay. And booty up. Good. Nice. Let's do it again. Ready? Nine o'clock. We go over the hand hand. Oh yeah. So we'll, let's walk into it slow. So right foot twelve. Left foot three. Right foot six and right hand goes high. Left foot nine and left hand goes low. Right foot steps 12. Big circle and knees up. Good, beautiful, booty up. Wow, two times around for Maggie. It was, uh-huh. Let's do it again, ready? Oh, and then the trick to go around more and more times is to really pull your knees up hard and fast. That uses a lot of core and um, it makes it harder to do. You have to use your lower back and your tummy to, to engage and to get around the spin. But the more you pull it up, the stronger you'll get. And your goal is to be way the heck away from the pole out here. And then when you land, you won't be bumping into the pole at all. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Walk into chair spin, go 12. And three, right hand high, left hand low. Step right, big circle, knees up. Yes, beautiful ladies, land it. And booty up. Awesome. And let's add that to our choreography and we'll move to the music. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>